Imagine being called a foreigner in your own country by a foreigner. Well, that's the predicament of a male Zambian national who has chosen to remain anonymous. The man was on Saturday turned away from a Chinese restaurant and shop called Lankins in Lusaka's Long Acres for being black and a foreigner in his own country. The man was in the company of his Chinese wife and now explains. These two other guys were in front of us. They went in, these uh, Chinese nationals, they went in. So when my wife and I were going in, there was this lady behind the counter. She was uh, shouting something, she was yelling something. So for me, I, was, I, I just looked at her, but then I couldn't understand. So I walked in again, then she repeated the same phrase, the same phrase. So at this time, I looked at my wife because she was looking in my direction. So I looked at my wife, my wife had stopped moving. So I asked her, what, what is she saying? So the lady said, foreigners are not allowed in this shop. So I thought to myself, in my mind, I was like, oh, how, how does she know my wife is, you know, not from Zambia? Then my wife said, oh, she means you are not allowed in the shop. That's when I was confused. Foreigner? I am the foreigner in this situation. So she said, uh, then uh, my wife asked the lady, what do you mean? She said, oh no, the Chinese can come inside. You have to wait outside, you can't come inside. The wife of the Zambian national has described the actions taken by the Chinese nationals against her husband as ridiculous. I don't think Chinese, I mean like, racism is everywhere. But then, like in this situation, it's just a little bit unusual, you know? How can you ask, uh, how do I put it, how, how can you say that foreigner cannot come in when they are in a foreign country? It's ridiculous. I mean, like, they are not supposed to behave like that. I asked the couple to accompany me to the said restaurant and shop so that I can independently verify the allegations leveled against the Chinese business firm. In the shop, there was only one female Chinese national at the counter and busy on her phone. We proceeded in the shop, and when going out, I asked the Chinese lady, with the help of the Zambia national's wife for translation, if I could see the owners of the shop so that I can find out about the allegations leveled against them, but the lady outrightly refused. When she refused, I asked her whether it's true or not that they turn away blacks in their shop. In her response, the Chinese national explained that this decision has been arrived at in view of the coronavirus, but denied turning away any black person a contradiction. Okay, so basically she said that normally they allow the uh, Zambian, they will come here, they will like they, normally they are like the driver of the Chinese Chinese national. So the Chinese national will come and buy stuff, the uh, Zambian driver will be waiting outside, then they will be like carrying the stuff from here to the car, not to go inside. But if you say those who are like they insist to go in, they will still allow. Mm. So the Zambian drivers, the black ones, they wait from here. Yes. Then yeah. the, the Chinese, they go inside, they, go inside ah. they buy, then they get the stuff from here. Mm. So when you came here, they thought he's also a driver for you. Is, 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 is that what they thought? But the one, the one yesterday is not this one. Simply put, the Chinese are saying blacks transmit the coronavirus. How painful can that be? That's simply an insult. Well, Let's assume that what this lady is saying is true, that they don't discriminate against the blacks, their actions speak to the contrary. For example, everything here is written in Chinese except for phone numbers and names of Zambia and China. This is happening in Zambia. What about if it is China itself? I traveled to Guangzhou some time back, maybe some eight, nine years ago, and on arrival at Guangzhou airport, um, my passport was seized on the basis that it was uh, a fake passport. I was told I was a West African, although the party I traveled with were all Zambians. So I was detained at the airport overnight. And no explanation, just told you are going back. It's becoming more prevalent here. 
it's not even that side. And we are looking at where is the political will to protect us in our own country. That can happen out there, but we do not expect it to start happening here and politicians are sitting idly by. Is Zambia slowly turning into a Chinese colony? Has Zambia been secretly sold to the Chinese while citizens were still asleep? Could it be that our leaders know something about the Zambia-China dealings which we don't know? Can a Zambian behave like this in China? Hmm, this is quite strange and strange indeed. Kalan Muchima reporting for Move TV News in Osaka.